the passed resolutions. And according to the resolutions, the first resolution that they passed is to make sure that from Friday, the same day, because we had an evening service, uh, we had the sanitizers in place at the washing shops here at the, at the entrance of the church. So we began on that day, Friday. We, were, we, we had everything in place and people were washing their hands as they entered into the service. And so today is Sunday and we have also implemented the same. From the first service uh, to the last service, we shall have that. And so we've made sure that uh, the uh, washing soaps at the gate, there's enough water in the cathedral, so we don't have a shortage of water. And uh, after that, uh, after getting washing their hands at the gate, they're also receiving sanitizers at the uh, entrance of the church. So we are applying that. That is the first measure. Uh, the second measure is uh, we have made sure that uh, we, uh, we have uh, talks, health talks in every service. So we have only already had a health talk in the first service, sensitizing our people. We've already had a, a health talk in the second service. We've also sensitized our people. And uh, uh, sometimes, you know, there is that uh, kind of fear. People are gripped with fear when they hear that, you know, uh, now coronavirus is uh, within the country. So we are, we are kind of, kind of um, making them cautious of what is happening and how they should protect themselves. So the health talks have been very, very good and we thank God for that. Another measure that uh, we've done is to ask those who have started coughing or are feeling anything, any symptoms of flu, done is to ask our people to stop greeting. Even when we had the Holy Communion in the morning, there's a, a, a statement that we, we say during the peace the peace of the Lord be with you, and then we ask every Christian to greet another. We told them, today you are not going to greet, you are going to wave. So, peace of the Lord be with you, and they wave in the air, peace of the Lord be with you. They are not greeting. Uh, in matters of giving Holy Communion, I think we are quite safe because we use the small cups. We don't drink from the same chalice. And then, uh, so we, we feel that it is okay. We feel we are quite safe because the, the, the clergy who are, are, are giving the Holy Communion wash their hands before they do that, before they, 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 they give the bread to the Christians. So there we are quite safe. But another measure that we've done is to close our king's corner, our, our, our children's corner, the playground. Uh, when children finish their Sunday school lessons, they normally go to play in the playground. But we have stopped that for safety measures. And we've also asked our people to try as much as possible to, keep, to maintain cleanliness, especially when they go to the toilets, to be try and be, to maintain cleanliness as much as possible. Those are the measures that uh, we put in place, and I believe uh, the Christians are happy. We allow a lot of fear to instill in our minds. Uh, we may again uh, confuse people. So I think when they put some measures in place, like the washing of hands, uh, the, 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 the more they try to, to keep us safe even in the ferry, we know there is a lot of congestion in the ferry. Uh, but life has to keep on moving. They, they cannot stop, like uh, many people live across the ferry. So you cannot stop them coming to work in the morning. And the ferries are normally congested. So as long as uh, the government puts some measures there, like asking people to wash their hands and uh, keep safe, everybody is in charge of maintaining his or her health, I think we shall still be, be safe and people will, 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 will be safe. Are you satisfied with the response from your congregants? Yeah, those some are feeling, why, why, why this disturbance? But we are telling them, please bear with us. Uh, it is for your own safety. So yes, they are, we, are, we are telling them. And so there are some who are a bit... But, but we, are, we, are, we are talking to them. We are talking to them. Yes. 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 Na pia katika mlango wa kanisa tuna sanitizers wakifika kwa mlango wa kanisa tena wanawekwa hiyo sabuni wanajaribu kujipangusa vizuri ndio ndio waingie kanisani. Pia katika kanisa tumesema tutaondoa vitabu. Ile vitabu vya sala na vitabu vingine tutaendelea kutumia uh, CCTV cameras. Na tunaendelea kutumia screens zetu kwa sababu uh, tunajaribu watu wasishikeshike vile vitabu. Na kwa mambo mengine tumejaribu kuambia wale watu ambao me, wana, wanaanza kukohoa ama kusikia dalili zozote za flu basi wajari, wajaribu kukaa nyumbani na watafute usaidizi wa madaktari kabla hawajajiunga uh, na kanisa.
Kwa hivyo wale ambao wanajisikia dalili hizo au watakaa nyumbani na waje wakati wanajisikia sasa kwa sawa. Alafu jambo lingine tumefanya ni kufunga eh, pale mahali pa kuchezea pa watoto wetu uh, ili kwamba wasije wakachangamana katika mchezo ile na wakaanza kuambukizana labda kuna mmoja anaweza kuwa ameambukizwa basi tumeomba kwamba uh, wasicheze pale katika playground yao. Na hizo ndizo measures tumejaribu kuweka uh, na katika kusalimiana wakati wa kanisa kuna liturgy ya kanisa ambayo inatakikana kwamba msalimiane wakati fulani wakati mna mna mna, 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 mna amani ya Kristo hapa. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And since you have passed from death to life, I mark you in the sign of the cross. Next one. Opera Sada baptizing the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And since you have passed from death to life, I want you in the sign of the cross. Uh, just stand here, Mr. Congregation, please. I'm asking all of you. Thank you. Go prophesy to the people of Israel. 